Hey junkies, Jamie here, and I thought I'd share with you a few of my favorite yoga poses that I like to do when the low back is feeling tight, stiff, and very painful. Uh, so if you're experiencing any of those sensations, please join me on your mat as we do a few yoga postures together to work that low back. Wide your knees, this is child's pose. Let your feet touch the floor, let your belly fall through your thighs, Stretch your arms long, bring your forehead to the floor. Maybe spider walk your fingers a couple of times more forward, lifting your elbows up. And then let's sink and have forehead rest to the mat. A couple slow breaths here in and out of your nose. Sink your hips back a little further each exhale. Gently place your palms to the foot mat. Come up to a tabletop position for cat cow. You know these. Square your shoulders over your wrists. Square your hips over your knees. First one, drop your belly low to the floor. Gaze up towards the ceiling as you take a deep inhale. Pull your shoulders down and back. Lift your tailbone up towards the ceiling and then very slowly exhale, cat pose. Press your palms into the floor. Lift your upper back up towards the ceiling, gazing down where your hands are. Draw your stomach in. Push your middle back up a little higher. Inhale, cow. Sink your belly low to the floor. Draw your tailbone up a little higher. Send your gaze up. Pull your shoulders back. Exhale. One more. Cat. Push your lower back. Spread out that space between the two shoulder blades. Draw your stomach in. Push your hands into the floor. And then back into a tabletop, neutral spine position, gazing forward. Slowly come back down. The next one is Malasana. This is a yogi squat. You can do this by standing up. Open your feet wider than your hip distance. Turn your knees and your toes out. Bring your palms to the center. And slowly as you squat down, careful that your lower back does not arch. As you squat down, your knees should trace over the toe direction. Go down as low as you can. When you get down to as low as you can, I like to walk my feet in a little bit, closer towards my body. Sit down into your squat and breathe. Continuously stretch your spine up. Stretch your low spine down. You can gently use your elbows to fan out the inner thighs, knees. Breathe. For another stretch in your low back, I'm gonna turn sideways. In Malasana, your low spine is stretching straight down and your upper spine is stretching up. Your gaze is forward and your elbows gently fan the knees out, the inner thighs more open. For another stretch in your spine, just a little different spot, you can relax your head down and gaze towards the floor. Turn your palms and wrap them behind the heel and just breathe here for four breaths. back to the center. Malasana, you can add a side twist by grabbing your opposite hand to the shin and reaching your arm up towards the ceiling with the twist in the torso. The fingers just grip the front of the shin and then very slowly palms to center, neutralize the spine. Right hand opposite grip, left shin and left arm up. Lots of opening around the middle back, rib cage area. Another great stretch that I enjoy in my 
low spine rib cage area is a seated twist. So you can just sit in a comfortable cross leg position. Bring one hand behind you and one hand to your knee. So if you're twisting to the right, put your left hand on your knee. Gently look over the right shoulder. Now use the hand that's behind you on the floor to press into the ground and create a little bit more twist. Notice the twist is happening from the waist, turning, twisting all the way chin over the shoulder. Breathe, one more breath. And slowly on this one, untwist to center. Another breath. And then other side. Twisting to the left, place your right hand on your left knee, hand behind your back. Press into the ground with your left hand. Use your right hand to create a little bit more twist. So nice and tall, spine long, perpendicular. Press into the floor, twist. Use a little exhale to twist one more time. And slowly untwist to center. Next, you can bring your feet soles together. Bring your feet where they're comfortable, either a little further from the body, or maybe they feel better co closer towards the body. Then let your hands drape over the top of your big toes and all the rest of your toes. And then see how low you can bring your head to the floor. Notice your forearms and elbows may rest on your legs. If you're able to bring your head all the way down to the floor, hold there. Notice the stretching in your back. Take a couple more breaths here. And gently come up. Go ahead and bring your body all the way down to the floor. Wrap your arms around your legs. Try to grab high up near your elbows with all your fingers. Look down the center line of your body. Little pressure from the shoulders, little pressure from the back of the head, little pressure from the hips. Placing that pressure to the floor to lengthen your spine a little longer through the middle back, through the upper back, through the lower back, stretch your spine. And slowly release. Let's take this to a supine. So draw your knees to the left. Notice your hips come up off the floor. Leave that there. Bring your arms out over your head if it's comfortable or arms long out to the sides if that's better. Notice that you can draw your chin to the right shoulder. Take a deep breath in through your nose and slow breath out through the nose. Relax your back and hips to the floor. And slowly bring your knees to the center. Tabletop your shins parallel to the floor. Roll the knees to the right. This time, keep the right shoulder on the floor as you turn your chin to the left. Breathe. Slowly bring your knees to the center table, tuck your shins to the floor. And we'll continue with a figure four stretch. Draw your right foot over the top of your left knee. Flex your right foot so the toes turn upward. Interlace your fingers underneath and behind your left leg. Square your shoulders to the floor. Suck your stomach in and gently pull the knee down. Notice where you need to stop and hold. Take several slow breaths, connecting to where that tightness or stiffness, stretching is happening in the body. Breathe. One more breath. Slowly undo the right leg and switch legs. Bring your left leg over the top of the right knee Flex the left foot, 
Interlace your fingers and behind the right leg. Pull the thigh down. Broaden through your shoulders. Draw your navel in towards the back of the spine. Find that spot where you should hold in stillness where there's a little intensity. One more breath. And slowly change. Happy baby pose. Send your feet soles up towards the ceiling. Bend your knees. And this may be better reach for you outside the edges of your feet. Or perhaps it feels better to grab the inner arches of the feet. Grab where it feels best for you. Draw your stomach in, broaden your shoulders, and pull the knees down towards the floor. Lengthen your spine. Draw your navel in, broaden your shoulders. Press the feet down to lower the knees more towards the floor. You can rock your baby from left to right. It's a gentle rock. Them again and slowly change. Place your hands to the sides of you and slowly come on up. Hey, okay. hope you enjoyed those stretches for the low back area. I'll be back with more soon. Have a great day.